up tonight <coughs> is also a founding member of Sparks, Jennifer Bartlett Phelps, who is the owner of Alter Ego Imaging, a photography studio specializing in boudoir and modern women's portraits. She strives to help her clients reconnect to their sexuality and their sense of self-confidence. Jennifer is also a fine art artist, sexual health educator, and a self-professed workaholic. She loves connecting people and has a passion for all things beautiful. And she also likes all things cake. Um, I do too, but anyways. Uh, is drawn to non-traditional and considers herself a perpetual optimist. So please help me welcome Jennifer to the Spark stage. <laughs> ago, at the age of 23, I started my first business. I opened a full-service banquet hall in southern Indiana that specialized in weddings. Ten years ago, that business went under, just six months after the birth of my first child. We lost everything, and I was devastated. I looked for a job for a little while, but I ultimately decided that I was going to be a stay-at-home mom and devote myself to my family. I told myself that that was because I didn't want to put my daughter in daycare, but that was bullshit. <laughs> you see, I spent five years as a stay-at-home mom solely because I was too afraid of failing again. Tonight, we're going to talk all about bullshit. <laughs> the types of bullshit, the reasons we bullshit, and the cure for bullshit. There are two main types of bullshit. The bullshit that others tell us, and the bullshit we tell ourselves. The first type is easy. The check is in the mail. It's not you, it's me. Your call is very important to us. I can't go out, I have to work. And then there's the bullshit that we want to believe, like this weight loss ad. Or the good old, do I look fat in this outfit? No. And my personal favorite, Mark Zuckerberg is not giving anybody his money. But how many times did you see this reposted on Facebook? The bullshit we tell ourselves is the worst in my mind because it holds us back and it's detrimental to our own well-being. I'll do it tomorrow. It seems innocuous enough, but how many days in a row do we say that? I don't have enough time. We make time for the things that are important to us, don't we? I'm not enough. You can fill in that blank a million different ways. Good, smart, pretty, handsome, the list goes on. So why do we bullshit? Sometimes it's because we're trying to sell a product. And our clients ease into that. They might buy it for a little bit because they want to, but ultimately, that bullshit hurts us. Sometimes it's because we aren't comfortable telling the truth or because we're trying to spare somebody's feelings. Sometimes we're trying to gain allies, and sometimes it is simply out of fear. Whatever the reasons, bullshit hurts us in the long run, and we need to remember that. So what's the cure? The answer is authenticity. It's so simple. Be who you are. Say what you mean. Be unapologetically you. It's important in our everyday lives, and it's important in our businesses. We live in a strange world where we are simultaneously more and less connected all at the same time. We know more about our casual acquaintances because of social media, but we also know we have fewer in-depth relationships because we are so attached to our devices. Look at around any restaurant and you see people standing there looking at their phones instead of talking to the people in front of them. Connection is a staple of success. And connection only happens through transparency. Transparency of self and the absence of bullshit. 